Hey guys, this is our second time out. Actually, not our second time out. It's probably like our third or fourth time out, but this is actually our second time getting in the car and going somewhere. We're actually headed to Bainan, which is uh, Bainan Chu, which is a district, but within this district is a big park. So uh, it's really uh, mountainous, kind of where we're at. We're about an hour outside of Chongqing, and so we're going to just share today's experience with you. Woman mi Milula, we're lost. <laughs> Woman Milula, shit that. So Tway Tway is going to this house right over here. It uh, looks like a family celebrating, maybe just getting out, but she's gonna go ask one of the family members. Uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, and we can't seem to find the parking place for this park. So uh, it is, it's cool though to see families together. Yeah, all these buildings that I've been, we've been driving by and I've been showing you for the most part, I would say 98% of those are probably uh, homes. Uh, maybe a hotel or two, but the majority of them are all homes. Nali? Right. Light? So just down the street to the right. Getting close, it's so nice. It's about like 70 degrees. A uh, little kind of you know, a lot of people think this place, China's really polluted. Yeah, there are a lot of places that are polluted, but even when you get out into the country, it's got this kind of polluted haze look, but it's not its not pollution because we're so far out. It's just the, uh, I guess, the geography and the weather in this particular area. But today's a really nice day, not too hot. Like, look at this house right here. Look how old that thing is. Now that is cool, isn't it? That place has got some history behind it, I'm sure. That's what I love about coming out here is just seeing this, the, uh, the history of these really old buildings. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, we come all this way and, uh, woo, sticker. Jig a sticker. Okay, well. a sticker look at this growing up in West Texas Amarillo area outside of the country they hit they're over here too and they're just as evil looking and actually sharper uh, well I threw it there jolly it's jolly jolly uh, I don't know we'll put it off Oh. Yeah, we come all this way and he gets excited about ants and stickers. Shishi. Come on, come on. 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 Come I'm going to show you a picture of the, uh, there's a big map here of the park. And they actually have English for us. Look at that, uh, Spotted Deer Park, Karst Cave Hot, Hot Spring, Pippa Cave, Pippa Square. That is one thing you don't see very often here. Good business would be to start a, uh, an RV dealership. Because I, I see that as the next wave of things that people buy here that and boats so uh, I don't know hook me up started the dealership for you 
What? 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 Come on. Ants. Piss ants. Ah, the queen. Now you're gonna piss them off. Zola. Zola. I just love coming out to the country here in China because it's it's like the China that you see on TV that's uh, represented by the media or the different travel channels. And uh, you got all these farming communities. And my guess is they probably haven't been impacted as much like the larger cities as far as quarantine. Although these parks have probably been shut down. Yeah, it's a big ant. Yeah, we come all this way and he's finding ants and he's excited about it. But yeah, they uh, they probably haven't been imp impacted as much. So life has probably seemed pretty much the same since this virus started. I'm sure they're aware of it because they get electricity and they get cable and satellite. So they know what's going on here. They have internet here. Uh, but look, this is uh, this is probably about a maybe 40, 50 year old building. Maybe uh Maybe a home that has, uh, looks like a bamboo business, maybe. Yeah, I love it out here. So nice, about 70 degrees. And here, look, you have this uh, 65 plus year old lady carrying, Coco uh, Assassin, carrying probably about a 100 pound bag on her back. That's rock. The sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't The flower that you were just looking at It looked like they had planted Yeah, wow <laughs> The flower that you were just looking at The yellow flower uh, it, was, it was planted in rows So I, I, don't, I wasn't for sure if they were used it for tea Or for eating but uh, Toy Toy told me they use it for oil. I guess they kind of let it grow at a certain point and harvest it and then make oil out of it. I know some of my uh, my Texas friends and southern friends are just like drooling right now. You're in isolation, past hunting season, and you see something like this, you're thinking to yourself, man, that would sure look good on my wall. Ni <laughs> hao. <laughs> Ni <laughs> hao. <laughs> yeah. Ni Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Sika deer. That's the name of these things. Sika. S I K A. Sika, in case you're wondering. Uh, interesting quick fact here I just read that it says historically Sika deer have been overhunted and hunted, and the number of wild Sika deer is very small. It is highly, it is a highly endangered animal in China with a total number of less than 1,000 Sika deer. So that's the, that's the wild deer. These are definitely domesticated deer. So there's probably a lot more, but uh, they're no longer in South Korea and Vietnam and may now be extinct in North Korea. 
There are about 9,000 in eastern Russia and about 300,000 in Japan. Japanese sika deer were once endangered, but good conservation and the extinction of Japanese wolves led to the restoration of the population. So, a little Chinese quick fact for you. Let's keep going. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Because mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be broke. All right, so we just arrived in Fengcheng Gujian, which is an ancient town about an hour and 20 minutes east of Chongqing. So we're gonna check out the sites, take you along with us. I won't slow down, yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs. So I asked Tui Tui to ask the lady that we just uh, bought some stuff from how old this area was, the city, and uh, she thought it was around five or six hundred years old. So uh, I just love visiting these really old places. I've been actually to a little bit older, but this is uh, definitely a, uh, a unique city. Yeah, these, these big vats here are at uh, 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 Baijiu, ma? Baijiu. Yeah, this is, this is Baijiu, uh, which is a really strong liquor. It's like 50 plus percent. Some of these can actually be stronger. Uh, but yeah, they uh, the Chinese love Baijiu. They just absolutely love it. Some of it's good, but it's really, it's got a very strong alcohol taste. It's got some baskets here. Rice baskets, the guy's weaving it himself. This is the stuff that makes me really, really happy, being able to get out and do this. Instead of talking about sad news and negative news, I, I really hope that these videos going forward, assuming that there's no second wave here in China, I hope these encourage you uh, and uh, your, your own quarantine and the crap that you're going through now. Uh, I hope it puts a smile on your face and I hope it really encourages you to come to this wonderful country. It's a great, I've been here for 19 months and I love it. I love the people, uh, very nice, love the food. And I just hope that you can come out here someday. So maybe these, on, these uh, videos that I'll be uploading uh, will be uh, something to inspire you to travel to China. Chongqing. Chongqing rocks. I love Chongqing. I won't slow down. This is a photographer's dream. Not a lot of people here, uh, but some great photo opportunities. Very cool. Got the storefronts here, and then the people that use that own those stores, they live uh, up on these second floors. You can see, uh, well, the ones behind me. You can actually see some clothes there, hanging on the uh, on the patio. But yeah, no excuse for being late. You know, no Hi. over. Hello, Nihao. Say. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the wives don't come through these type of these towns very often, so I'm getting tons of looks and people staring, people taking pictures. I feel like a celebrity. I love you, jungle Ren. I love you, Chinese people. things back here they're uh, they're scales they still a lot of little marketplaces they use the scales to measure the weight of fruit and uh, uh, other items that they're selling so pretty cool and they these these are all handmade I mean very very beautiful work 
，不好说呀。到了就是那边嘛，穿铁元，那边嘛 ，I think it's expensive。It's okay. Two T ones, not bad. Bye. Bye. 所以 twenty twenty you twenty you and for a， 让他选，让他选。A little bowl, wooden bowl. It's got Chinese inscription on. It's pretty cool. I like the like I said. I I'm just a trinket slut when it comes to this kind of stuff. I like it. Twenty two. So just like two or three bucks. It's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. 在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了一顿。在这里，我们吃了